Hi, good morning everyone. Myself Anurag. Today I am discuss about why why analysis. First of all, please subscribe my channel. Quality is everything is my channel name, and please watch my full video. Today my session is basically based on why why analysis. Today I am discuss about what is why why analysis, the history of why why analysis, and also discuss about how to find the root cause of the problem through the help of why why analysis tools through one case study. So first of all, I am discuss about what is why why analysis. Why why analysis basically is a lean manufacturing tools that is used for finding the root cause of the problems. Why why analysis first time introduced by Sakichi Toyoda in 1958 in Toyoda production system. And I am discuss about how to find the root cause of the problem through why why analysis. First of all. many times you know that many times some rejection part is outflow from your end to the customer end customer always ask why problem is coming at our end and customer demanded to submit the kappa submit the why why analysis why problem is coming so finding the origin of the problems you need to why why analysis with the help of why why analysis you finalize the you find the root cause of the problem so i am discuss about the why why analysis with the help of why why analysis how to find the root cause of the problem so i am take one example rms titanic i am discuss about today why 1500 plus before lost lost life in titanic and why titanic sank so i am today my topic and today i'm just take one sensitive topic why rms titanic sank and why 1500 people lost life in titanic so first of all i am just on the base of why why analysis how to find the root cause of the problem why rms titanic sank so first i have my question is that why i give i find the two answer first enough life boat not enough life boat that is a main reason second i find the reason is titanic sank sank again i asking the question why titanic sank i get one answer water water filled in hall water filled in hall why water filled in hall i get two answer first hall plate pulled apart at seam why hall plate pulled apart at seam i get two answer 
first rivet strength of rivet joint is not good is not good second and great answer why hall plate pulled apart at seam sip it iceberg again i am asking why sip it iceberg i get two answer first i get answer lock out saw iceberg leak lockout saw iceberg leak and second get answer ship speed is high ship speed is high so on the base of y y analysis we have to find the two root cause of the problem why titanic sank and why hundred people lost life in rms titanic i get one answer is iceberg saw late and second answer get ship speed is high so on the base of y y analysis you have to find the root cause of the problem any type of the problem in basically that is used for nowadays manufacturing sector also used for banking sector and also you can also use in your personal life if you why why analysis in your personal life you can finalize the find the root cause of the problem but basically in manufacturing sector you need to why analysis in two base data first on industry base we need to analysis always on why why on why occurrence the problem why occurrence the problem and second also analysis why problem is not detected why problem was not detected so when the problem is outflow to the customer end you need to find the why why analysis on the base of why problem is not occur why problem is occur sorry why problem is occur and why problem was not detected at pdi end yeah and process that so i think this video is very basically for very helpful for every viewers whose analysis and uh, and also very helpful for the personal life why you have not find everything so if you analysis the problem you find the root cause of the problem so i think this video is very helpful for you so please subscribe my video and please watch my full video thank you and good luck